What is up, my fire amigos? Welcome back to Paper Mario New Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we had topped off all of our recipes in order to complete all 56 recipes. Look at this chart. Even the hottest dog, way over there. <laughs> so, all these recipes you can do in game over time, but I just. We were able to do it, grab the trophy. Now, the reason I'm in Sprogeport Sewers today is today's episode, we're going to be tackling the rest of the sewers. There are. A handful of hidden secrets left over now that we've completed, uh, now that we've completed chapter 6. One of them is this giant pipe we've been staring at since the prologue here. Now that we have a spring jump, we can hop onto the pipe and crawl all the way over here to this pipe that's way, that's like on an island over here that we saw the last time we are down here. Doing the, um, what was it, the Troubles? Or sometime, sometime after chapter 5, we were visiting this area. But here we are, on the other side, and then we can go into this pipe here. Now what's in this house, you may ask? <laughs> it's honestly the hardest thing to get in this game. Sorry, the hardest star piece to get in this game. Because you need to wait till chapter 6. Let's see what Gumbel has to say about this house. We're down below Rogueport. There's nobody here. Huh. I wonder, where wonder where they went. Yep, same thing as always. This didn't give much information last time we were down in the original game. But this is definitely a sailor, so I have no idea who's we got a shirt hanging up, a buoy, a fishing pole, you name it. And let's keep going now. Now we need to make the long trek back. Uh, let's see if we can get it here. Nope, because I'm an idiot, I don't see dripping water. Let's go ahead and jump here. And then we'll speed through this pipe section, shall we? Alright, here we are back at the side. Now we need to go up here. If you remember correctly, there's a chest on this side of the wall, but there's a crack on that side of the wall, no? So all we have to do is switch to Bobbery, and then crack her open. <laughs> Alright, and in this chest we have... a Defense Plus Partner Badge. That's great. Let's go ahead and jump down now. Nope! <laughs> I forgot I had first strike on, or bump attack, whatever it is that helps you attack with your enemies. <laughs> anyway, we are now going to go over this side. The middle section here, I'm not going to talk to Dazzle No, but the middle section has a, a fair amount of secrets for us. The first thing we need to do is go up to the center console here with the rising platform. And then do the spring jump again on this pipe here, with the dripping water, bam. Alright, now, this game has been out for a few months now, and I definitely know about this hidden secret over here. Not that I feel though, it's almost been a year, that's by this time this video goes up. But there's a Power Plus badge over here, let's see, here, no, I think it was here? Jump, no, where'd it go? There, yes, there it is, alright. Now, I... That badge was not in the original game at all. Like, at like at all. See if there's anything else in, like, these this hidden in these corners. I mean, you clearly can see it through the fence, but I'm just... I'm blind. <laughs> you can't get up on that roof here. Let's see if you can go over here. There's three puddles of water we want to test out. Let's see, first one. Nope. Second one. Nope. Okay, so... I think that was something in the original game, I could be very mistaken, but the other thing we want to do is we want to go over this way, and then do the spring jump again. We want to go right this time for uh, the, the pill over here. Now, I thought there was something over here, I was definitely wrong. I even pulled out this mouse for it. But, yeah, there's, there's actually nothing over here on this roof. It was only that Power Plus badge now. I do know there is an item on that roof, because I've been in here this time, and in another episode I've already recorded I'm in there a second time, I just couldn't find it. But we need to be on this pillar for this shine sprite here. The reason I didn't know I couldn't find it, because that animation Miss Mouse just did, uh, she'll, when you're very near an item, she will go, she'll just start sniffing like crazy. But I can't find, I didn't find it in this one, I know where it's at, so like, Probably after the episode I just recorded where I was trying to find it. I'll come back down here and grab it again later and then we'll uh, we'll showcase it. Because yeah, she'll work. How Miss Mouse works is that you can activate her power 
But then the direction she's sniffing the item from was the uh, direction you need to go. So we need no we, we know the items on the adjacent roof. I just don't know why I'm still searching here. Uh, because I know I searched for a little bit longer than what I'm showing you, I'm gonna speed, or not speed, but skip until we get out of this section here. Alright, we've officially exited that section. Now, the place I want to go to is over here on the far left. Now, you'll see the pipe up there. I'll get out of my way, Koopa Patrol. You're gonna see this X mark and plenty of water drippings. Let's go ahead and hit this pipe. I'm gonna crawl all the way over here through this wall. Now you notice that block in that pipe there, that is actually the entrance to chapter 7. We are not entering that just yet. We want to get this badge right here. Flower Saver Partner. This is one of the last badges we're going to get in the Roadport Sewers. Actually, it is the last badge we're going to get in the Roadport Sewers, so that's good. I mean, other than the Pit of 100 Trials, but that's a little different. It's not exactly the Roadport Sewers, but even though it is, I, I don't know. Just a hidden box in this area that's not the designated Pit of 100 Trials, is the, that is going to be the last badge. Now, the next section I want to get over to is our lovely Spinias and Spoonia. Um, I need to go this way. Okay, I'm going to go through right here. Cut through this. Get on my way, control. Nope, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> that guy's fast, by the way. All right, now I'm going to make this long trek all the way over there. Speed! All right, and the reason we're over here is for that Spring Jump Shine Sprite. So with the uh, first first strike badge that I have, I'm going to go ahead and attack the Spinias. So we don't need them anymore. Let's see if I can avoid the Spoonia here. Ugh, nope. <laughs> All right, the battle's over. By the way, 13 uh, star points for that one Spoonia is crazy. That's how strong those guys are, man. All right, anyway, before I get bombarded by these two, I'm just going to go ahead and kill them off. And now me to get this shine sprite. All right, fantastic. Now let's make the trek all the way back down there with speed. All right, back at the bow panel. Now there is one more. I think there's only one more thing I need to showcase. And it's something I've done yet, and that's going to be Merlevel the Fortune Teller, the one where we had to help for the Heartful Cake recipe. Yeah, it's, wow, that guy is fast! He almost got me twice! Anyway, we need to go there, but the only way up there is through the sub-level 1, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this pipe here, and I'll meet you guys back at um, Merlovely's office, or Merlovely's hut, not office, but hut. Hmm. You know what, why not? Before I go down there, I'm just, just going to go ahead and rank up Aubrey. Our last two Shine Sprites are in Chapter 7, so we can't do anything about Miss Miles right now. I would like you to power up Aubrey, please, because that um, his second attack is big, but is the most expensive attack, being at 9 FP. Shazubi! Shazubi! Skip! Care about more? Nah, I don't need to. Thanks, though. Return someday! Alright, now let's go on to Madam. Uh, Madam Flores. Sheesh. Mer Lovely's hut. <laughs> Hi, Mer Lovely, how are you? Fortune favors who, who I compel it to it, and when it sits for a spell or two. Are you ready to taste for a taste of my power? Yes, I am. That's good, that's great. Choose your path of fate. Which path do you choose? Cheap, normal, or special? Special. I'm in it for the long run. Now, this is absolutely random, and I mean random, uh, when this will activate. So what it does is like either get up defense, up attack power, double coins, double star points. Uh, uh, I believe that's it. Maybe more items, I don't know. There, There's not that many abilities for it, but it's very useful if you like, um, if you need coins or if you want to get like the jump on somebody. <laughs> but it's kind of the stupid, like, for instance, if I did get the special package, which lasts for a long time, if I end up getting like the in increased damage when I'm trying to get the champion belt back from Rock Hawk, and I end up having to fight like a Goomba or maybe. What is it? 
a bandit, like, you know what I mean? Some of the lower l level enemies, it's just gonna be overkill. <laughs> um, but with that being said, uh, I'm done. There's no more secrets for Oport, so I'm just heading to near safe block, but I could definitely hit the one at the top of the sewers. But with that being said, in the next chapter, we're, or next episode, we're gonna be starting chapter 7 and doing the chapter 7 prologue. Now, the prologue doesn't take that long. We'll be doing something very interesting. But there, during the prologue, I'm gonna be doing something that I haven't done yet that would be part of these secrets, but I saved it for after the prologue so I could show you where to, where to get the said item to get that said thing uh, taken care of. I, I'm just not gonna spoil anything. But let's go ahead and fly over here so we can hit that safe block. Ready? And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one.